Thank you for tuning in to Simply Nas Media. Today, we're going to be looking at the TVS 871T. This is a Thunderbolt unit from QNAP. One, uh, pretty much its only kind. Nobody else really makes a Thunderbolt uh, NAS. But uh, this is pretty much a triple mode storage NAS. So this is a, a Thunderbolt NAS, a NAS, and an iSCSI SAN. You can use um, this NAS for all three of those uh all three of those options there. So uh, before we get into into the specifics here, let's go ahead and un do a quick unboxing, and then uh, we'll go ahead and link you, uh, put a link on this video for a little bit more in-depth uh, features and uh, and specifications for the NAS. It's gonna be the link is gonna be up there on the top of the video. So let's go ahead and do the unboxing here. There we are, there's the box. Again, QNAP does a really good job at, uh, you know, putting in the foam insulation to make sure that the unit does not get uh, damaged in transit. Uh, as you can see, pretty sturdy uh, as, as all their units, uh, the way they box up their units. First up is the accessories box. Uh, we'll go through this uh, just in a little bit after we take the unit out. So let's put this aside. And uh, we'll take a look at that in a little while. Take this foam piece out there. And again, please do pay attention to this part as uh, I'm going to be showing you the right way to take the mask out of this box. So that way you prevent from any damage or any uh, dents to your unit when you're unboxing it. So you fold all the four flaps down, flip it on one side. And then flip it upside down. But when you are doing, when you are flipping it upside down, please do keep your hand at the bottom here on the foam, just so you can kind of support the nest as it's coming down out of the box. So let's go ahead and get that done. There we go. And that is the box. That is the unit out of the box, rather. All right, so we'll go ahead and take the foam out. Go ahead and take this out from here, put it on the side there. And the next part, again, be very careful here. Oh, flipping it up the other way around. I'm gonna flip this on its side here gently and then on its back. All right, so there you have your unit there. We'll go ahead and Take it out of the plastic cover and we will be right back. All right, so here we have the unit out of the packaging and everything. Uh, but first, before we look at the unit, we'll go ahead and go through the accessories box and what you get with the accessories box. All right, let me just uh, move this behind. As you can see, the unit is pretty stuck on the table. Well, this is a glass table, so. All right, so here we have it. First thing is you get this uh, installation guide. Uh, this will let you know how to install the drives onto the trays that are provided with the unit. And it also gives you a brief feature of how to connect your NAS to either the network or through the Thunderbolt connection. So that's that. This here, you just have a brief uh, they give you a link to go to download their Thunderbolt NAS uh, performance, optimized, performance optimized network drives. So that's that. Then uh, we have the screws for the two and a half inch drives and three and a half inch drives in the box. Uh, you may, you most probably will not need these if, uh, if you do get a configured unit from Simply NAS. As we do install the drives, we put it through our NASBIT testing, which uh, we test the drives, the unit, and we burn in the RAID as well. So it's ready to use out of the box when you get it. Now that is only that only comes in with configured uh, configured NASs, or you can purchase the NAS separately, the disc separately, and we also have a SKU for the NASBIT testing. So go check us uh, check us out on our website, which is www.simplynas.com. And then we have uh, two Ethernet cables here that come in handy to connect to your network. 
And I believe these are two. Oh, actually, you got four of them. These two are 1.8 meter blue cables. I believe these might be for the 10 gig uh, ports. And these are just two regular ethernet cables. Oh wow, looks like they packed some extra ones here, man. All right, so it looks like you get uh, about six cables with uh, with the NAS. Again, this uh, this may be just because of the th uh, of the 10 gig uh, ports that are in the back of the unit here. So we'll go ahead and pack these up in here again. that and also you do get uh, the power cable for it uh, which simply just comes in the box so you're always going to get one of these that are always handy to turn your unit on um, next let's go ahead and take a look at the unit here I'll go ahead and move this forward as you can see the suction cups at the bottom of the unit really really are sticky especially to, to glass tops like this uh, but Here's the front of the unit. Uh, it's pretty much your regular stuff where you have your status, uh, your LEDs uh, right up here on this corner. You have the status LED, the USB, and the LAN. So pretty much these will tell you whenever uh, a USB is connected, it'll, it'll light up. Uh, when the LAN is connected, they'll start blinking when it's working. Uh, the status LED will let you know uh, if you have any processes or anything like that still running, it'll start blinking and uh, so that way you'll know it easily here on the top right corner here uh, you have the led screen which will give you information about the nas uh, such as the name of the nas say if you do uh, put a name to your nas uh, also give you ip address and what raid level it is set at uh, you can also set up raid through the led screen here using these two buttons this is the enter button and this is the select button or even scroll up and down button. If you want more information about how to set up RAID using this LED, we'll go ahead and put a link in the description, or you can simply just uh, email us or even comment on this video to ask us how to get it done, and we will definitely let you know. Next up is the buttons here. You have your power button up there, and then you have the one touch copy button here with the USB 3 down here. One touch copy again is uh, you can connect an external uh, external drive to the NAS and back up to or back up from the NAS using the one touch copy. And then you have your eight bays here, just regular bays, nothing, I mean, nothing too special. As you can see, just pops out like that, slides out. Um, very nice, sturdy tray. Again, nothing too special, just a regular hard drive tray from QNAP uh, with your three inch holes right there and your two and a half inch holes right here. And then simply just slides back on and just snap it on there. Um, that's the front of the unit, pretty basic. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the front part of the unit, which is the back part of the unit. So let's get this turned around. Bear with me here as this unit is pretty sticky on the table. All right, so there we have it. That's the back of the unit. Uh, first things first, let's take a, let me let you know what the two big things are here if you have not noticed. That's the two exhaust fans in the back here. This will help uh, cool down the drives, cool down the unit itself. Uh, if you are putting it uh, through its paces, uh, you know, the large fans will help keep the drives cool, keep the unit cool and functioning and running properly. Next up is the power outlet right there and comes with it uh, the PSU fan here to keep it cool again and then uh, we'll move over to the Thunderbolt connections that you have up here you got two Thunderbolt connections labeled one and two these connect directly to a Mac as of right now um, these are Thunderbolt uh, I believe type 2 if I'm not mistaken so they'll connect straight to your Mac for um, the reason they did uh, come out with the Thunderbolt unit is for fast access storage. So if you're a photographer, uh, graphics designer, videographer uh, who needs fast access storage, uh, you can definitely connect straight to your Mac 
for right now uh, and get that fast access storage um, to you. And uh, then we have the 10 gig, two 10 gig LAN ports right here, uh, RJ45 10 gig. And then uh, next up we have, uh, one, looks like one, two, three, four RJ45 ports uh, down here. These are one gig ports. And then uh, you have two USB 3s and two USB 2s. And then down here you have, uh, looks like a mini HDMI port down here as well. So that's, I believe, uh, for connecting to a screen for streaming. Uh, you can also, uh, if you have a smart TV, you can use the DHCP function on the NAS uh, or Plex or use it as a media server as well. So that's the back of the unit. Um, Again, we do have a comprehensive uh, feature video uh, on our channel. We'll I'll put a link to we'll put a link to the description at the top over there, so you can take a look at that. Um, so that's pretty much basically your 871T from QNAP. Again, it is a TVS 871T. We'll go ahead and get this flip around front here for you. All right. Well, that's the NAS. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment below or you can even give us a call at 407-960-4690 or you can even give us an email as well. You can write to us at, simply, at sales at simplynas.com. Uh, one of our technical sales rep will be more than glad to help you out, answer any questions that you might have for this unit. Uh, and as mentioned in previous videos, uh, previous videos, we love talking to our customers. We love educating people about NASes and the different configurations that we do have because we believe that you should get a unit that fits your needs and your requirements, not just you know buy a unit and kind of figure it out later on. Uh, so please do uh, reach out to us. We'll be more than glad to answer any questions you may have. Uh, thank you again for watching the video. If you do like the video, please click the like button. It, uh, it helps us kind of know if we're doing things right or if we're doing things wrong. Uh, you can even let us know in the comment section below if you think we can improve on our videos or if you have a suggestion for us to do our next video, let us know in the comment section. And to get notifications of when we do upload videos, please subscribe to our channel. And uh, whenever we do upload a video, you'll, uh, you'll get notified. Once again, thank you very much for watching. See you guys next time.